10-year-old boy Jim, with skeletal deformity like encephoscoliosis came to OPD, with ataxia, nystagmus and dysarthric speech. On examination Romberg's sign is positive, and gait was abnormal. Doctors thought it to be cerebellar disease, and took an MRI. To their surprise the MRI was normal. He later complains of fatigue and breathlessness and progressive loss of vision. This helped our doctors to come to diagnosis. What is the diagnosis? Hurry up the time is running. It is Friedrich Ataxia. Friedrich Ataxia is genetic disease caused by mutation for taxin gene in chromosome 9. It is inherited as autosomal recessive pattern. It is more common as boys and presents at 10 to 15 years of age. Structures involved in Friedreich ataxia are 1. Cortex. Only bed cells 2. Dorsal root ganglia. Which causes sensory ataxia 3. Spinal cord. Mainly the corticospinal tract, spinocerebellar tract and posterior column 4. Peripheral nerves. Coming to normal physiology. Chromosome 9 has FXN gene, which contain GAA repeats less than 34, and codes for frataxin protein. Frataxin is present in mitochondrial membrane. It assembles the iron-sulfur complex and transports them out of mitochondria. Iron-sulfur complex are an important component in various enzymes, mainly electron transport chain. Frataxin is expressed in high amount in pancreas, heart and neurons. Now let's see the pathophysiology. Ternucleotide expansion mutation of frataxin results in GAA expansion to more than 100 repeats. This results in defective synthesis of frataxin protein. It is not able to assemble and transport iron sulfur complex, resulting in intermitochondrial accumulation of iron. This results in defect of pancreas causing diabetes, heart causing hypertrophy and neurons causing demyelination. TIC tick. Clinical feature can be divided into neurological and non-neurological finding. First let's see neurological. There are mainly cerebellar finding like dysarthria, horizontal nystagmus, loss of sphincter control, and absence of lower limb extensor reflex. Now the non-neurological findings are diabetes mellitus, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, optic atrophy and skeletal defects like cephoscoliosis, pascavus and hammer tone. That's all for today, hope you have learned something new. Hit the subscribe button and turn post notification on. Now for today's question. What is the test been performed? What it is used for? Comment down your answers below. Catch you up in more interesting topics. Until then, it is bye from Dr. Harrison. Thank you.